Where should I begin? So yeah, if you haven't heard, Godzilla Minus One had just came out recently. It's kind of the talk of the town on all social media, especially on Twitter, but just, uh... So yeah, hello one, welcome back to another movie review on the channel. And, uh, yeah, I'm gonna be talking about my thoughts on Godzilla Minus One, as I've seen this twice now, and IMAX! So when was my first time seeing this? Uh, I had a fan early screening, where I so happened to have gotten myself a lovely IMAX poster. Actually, I got two of these. I'm gonna be giving one to my brother once I see him, but... I'm definitely gonna be hanging this up somewhere, just don't have the right... Stuff. I would use thumbtacks, but I'd rather... I just prefer not to, but... Okay, so yeah. Quick background on Godzilla for me, about how, about just my knowledge with Godzilla. Yeah, all I know is is that he's a big, huge, giant monster that causes mayhem through six. Like just uh, my first introduction to Godzilla was mainly I would say 2014 version of Godzilla, but technically the 1997 Godzilla because uh, let's just say that uh, I wanted I thought my dad was gonna play the 2014 one for me, but Instead, he played the wrong type of Godzilla movie that I'm like, wait, wait, this is not the movie I wanted, Dad, but okay, I'll watch it, because it is intriguing me. I'll talk about my thoughts on that movie whenever I have the chance. But yeah, all I knew was that he was kind of like a bad dude, but mainly, a, I guess I could say an anti-hero somewhat, mainly in the MonsterVerse. My knowledge with Godzilla is mainly in the MonsterVerse films, but I have seen him go bad a couple of times in other movies, like the anime Godzilla trilogy on Netflix, or the other anime one that only has one season. When is season two coming out for Singular Point? Yeah, overall, I do like Godzilla. I'm a big, massive fan, especially one from the MonsterVerse. Go Team Godzilla, by the way. <laughs> Suck it, Team Kong. Alright, sorry, sorry. But got off topic with the whole Team Godzilla and Team Kong thing, but still, though. Um, yeah. I am a big, massive fan of Godzilla, but one thing I've never understood is what was so good about him. Like, I've not, like, I've, I've, the only movies I've seen of Godzilla would just be the 1997 version, then most of the MonsterVerse films, then the anime movies on Netflix. I've not seen the old Godzilla movies where a dude is in a costume is just, just, I, still, yeah, I've not seen those old movies, and I just don't know what, what makes him so... Like, just, yeah, I just, yeah, I can't, I sort of don't get it. Like, I don't get the whole thing. I'm, I mean, I like Godzilla, but I, I'm kind of in the, I can't find the right word. But basically, I don't, I don't know what's so good about him that folks like. But, uh, let's just say after watching Godzilla Minus One, I now get it. When I went to go see Godzilla Minus One in IMAX a few weeks ago, actually two weeks ago, in fact, I basically got to see, like, I got to meet the true monster of Godzilla. I got to meet the true beast of Gojira, if I pronounce this name correctly in Japanese. Like, I now, I now fully understand Godzilla. Like, just, like, I, I, I'm just, oh my god, where the hell do I even begin? Because not only am I, do I now fully understand what Godzilla is. Uh, general thoughts on the movie? Holy sh**! Holy sh**! Okay, legit, where do I even begin? But yeah, like I said, this movie is the talk of the town. People are, are loving it and claiming it to be one of the best Godzilla films out there. I- they're not wrong, but... Wanna know what they're not also wrong about? Not only is this pretty much one of the best Godzilla movies ever made, this is seriously one of the best films I've seen in 2021. Like, I now officially have my top 10 list on my letterbox. As I had Scream 6 on there, but now that that that's no longer on there because I had to school. I just had to add Godzilla Minus One onto my top 10 because just... Wow. Just wow. And I hate to say it. And also agree with folks on Twitter. This movie does put the MonsterVerse films into shame. But yeah, before I can even talk about any more thoughts I have on this movie, uh, just quick recap about me, my experience with it before seeing this movie. Uh, funny story, quick funny story. So once the trailer was released, I checked it out on YouTube and I'm like, oh, okay. I may check this out. I may, I may check this out. I don't know. And then the next day, I wake up from having a <laughs> somewhat of a nightmare of Godzilla. Like, I was actually shocked. I'm like, oh my god, I just had a nightmare of Godzilla. What the hell? That never happens. Why would I have a nightmare about a character I like? Oh yeah, I'm not joking. I did actually have a nightmare about Godzilla, and I was wondering how the hell that happened until I realized, oh, 
It's because I watched the new trailer the other day. That would make sense to just how I just randomly had a nightmare about Godzilla. Now, what was it about? I'm, I'm going to make this quick. So, uh, who was in it? Me, my brother, my parents, which would be my dad, stepmom, Rylan, and apparently my dad's dogs, Batman and Vader. We're at this location. It wasn't like a weird one. We're on Earth. We're in this location. It was a big castle. There's on like some type of island. There's woods surround. We were surrounded by woods. It was a castle there, but... We saw Godzilla attacking the place, and me, D, Rylan, and Batman Vader were stuck in a box, and we did eventually get out. But, like, we had to escape. Like, we were legit running away from Godzilla, and he was just destroying the castle and just causing mayhem. And I wanted to see what happened next just to continue on, but, like, I knew I was about to wake up, and I'm like, no, wait, no, wait, I want to see what happens next! And I wake up, and I'm like... Okay, well, that was an interesting nightmare I just had about Godzilla. But that wasn't going to be the last time I have him pop up in my dreams because <laughs> just so recently, in fact, yesterday, I had another nightmare about him. And I'm like, what the fuck? How did you come back into my dreams? What happened in the other one? So, yeah, yesterday I came home from school, took a nap accidentally, and, uh, I, yeah, I, now this dream was a bit shorter than the last nightmare I had with Godzilla, but... No, so yeah, uh, I'm at a house. Well, technically my house, but it's, it's not as accurate as this house. It's a weird-ass looking house. Then again, nothing is ever accurate in dreams. Well, mainly my dreams, unless it happens with everyone else. But um, I hear an alarm going on, and not... And by alarm, I'm talking about an alarm that would be like a tsunami warning. Like, there was basically a warning alarm going off. I'm like thinking, is there going to be a tsunami or something? What's going on? But I had a feeling who was coming because it was not, it was not a tsunami. I, I had a, I had like a spire sense. I'm like, no, it's not who I think it is. And it was none other than Godzilla. Like there was a tree that comes down and I see him right there and I'm like immediately terrified. Now this dream was shorter and I wake up and I'm like, oh my God, I had a nightmare. And I check the time. I'm like, oh crap, I'm going to miss school. W wait a minute. It's 4 p.m. Oh my god, and I got thrown off because outside it looked dark, but it was daylight saving, and I'm like, I was like freaking out a bit, because I'm like, oh my god, I need, I need, I needed to make some videos, but luckily I, I had, it took me a sec to realize that, oh, I just had, I just was sleeping for about two or three hours. But yeah, that's just my short, quick story about the past two nightmares I've had about Godzilla, which, let me just explain, like, just, it would make sense to how I would... Like, it makes, I mean, it kind of makes no sense to how I just ended up having nightmares about Godzilla, but having to see the movie, and actually, how did I end up having a nightmare again? Oh, makes sense. It's because I just saw Godzilla Minus One again in IMAX on December 1st. But no, it would make sense for why I was terrified of Godzilla in my dreams, because he was straight up terrifying in the movie! I mean, he looked pretty scary in the, the teaser trailer I saw, but once I saw him in the movie... He was freaking terrifying! But yeah, before I continue on my thoughts on the movie, uh, back to me before seeing Godzilla Minus One. So yeah, I was a bit hesitant on checking this out because, one, this is not an American movie. This is a movie made from Tokyo or Japan. Either one of those, unless they're both the same. I, I, I can't tell, but basically it's just one of those movies that that uh, I guess I would not be into. And it would make sense because... They're speaking Japanese, and I'm not going to understand what they're saying. They'll, they'll have English subtitles, but still, I eventually made up my mind about going to see this movie once I heard that, oh, there's an early screening. All right, screw it. I'm going to go check this out. And yeah, I booked tickets to go see this in IMAX on November 29th, and I did thought about doing a movie vlog. Unfortunately, I could not. Not because of storage. I just, I don't know. I'm a bit bummed out I didn't do a movie vlog for this. And honestly, I wish I made a movie vlog that day because... Soon, as soon as I was finished watching the movie, I checked my phone for the time. It was about 8 o'clock, and my mom wasn't going to be able to pick me up until like 10 o'clock because she was at work still. So, I figured this would be a perfect time to go check out another movie while I wait. So, I immediately booked a ticket to go see Wish again. I ran out of the theater, rushed in to the next theater room, and uh, yeah, just watched Wish again. Which I am going to be making a review on Disney's Wish tomorrow, so do stay tuned for that. But yeah, it would have been cool if I'd done like a double movie vlog of me going to see Godzilla Minus One and then another movie after that. Wish! But yeah, I have Regal Unlimited to thank for that, so thank you very much, Regal. But anyways, back to topic. So yeah, I went to go see Godzilla Minus One on Wednesday, November 29th, as there was a fan early screening. And uh, my view was a bit packed. Now, I did saw the thing online and like, okay, it's a little bit packed. But once I got there, it was a, it was a lot more packed than what I saw. Now, it wasn't like, it wasn't like a full house, but... It was, it was still packed. And, uh, yeah, once I saw the movie, 
let's just say that I was surprised as hell to what I had just witnessed. Because, yeah, not only did I just understood basically what what makes Godzilla Godzilla. Like, just having to see this movie. I now, I, I yeah, I have now met the true beast. The true monster of Godzilla. But not, not only have I fully understood about Godzilla. Yeah, I was, like, I was amazed. But shocked and surprised. Like, I just... Could not believe what I just witnessed from this movie because, like, this surprise because this is surprisingly one of the best films I've seen this year. Like, god dang, Open Time was at my 10 on my ranking list of 2023 movies. Godzilla Minus One is now taking that number one, not number one, that number 10 spot. And if you want to see all my ranking list of 2023 films I've seen, yeah, feel free to follow me on Letterboxd unless I just put a link in the description below. Oh, wait, but then you'll be seeing what's on my top 10 list. Oh, well, I mean, we're almost done with 2023, so, yeah. Anyways, back to topic. So, yeah, I went to go see this in IMAX, and the uh, theater was a bit packed, and honestly, I had, like, I just had a good time watching this in theaters, especially around with just sitting in the audience, because, like, by the time the movie was over, everyone immediately clapped, and I'm like, okay, this is another awesome theater experience I have. I mean, it's not, it's not like the one I had with when I went to go see Noe Home and I Max, but still, it was just an awesome theater experience for me. And no joke, there are a few folks in here that were tearing up on certain scenes in the movie that, yeah, I could, I definitely understood as it did, as it did, as it was emotional. Now, I, I may have not cried, but I, I can understand why some folks were tearing up a bit, because, God dang, and oh my God, this is something I need to say, so... In the MonsterVerse films, most of us just would like to see monsters just kicking ass. And we just don't give two sh** to humans because they're just boring and all that. Uh, in this one, you actually do get to care about the human characters. Which is something that the MonsterVerse films sometimes lacks. I mean, I'm not those folks that just don't care about the humans. I kind of care a little bit in the MonsterVerse. But in this one, no, you will care about the human characters in here. Especially the main character in, uh, in the movie that I would pronounce their name, but... I, I'm probably going to butcher it, so I'm sadly not going to mention the name. But no, he's a pilot who basically carried away who, from a war that, like, oh, right, this movie does take place after World War II. And, uh, yeah, this main character that we follow is a pilot who kind of carried away from a duty that he was tasked to do, which was, I guess, die. Which, don't consider that a big spoiler. Okay, that's a little tiny spoiler, but not as a big spoiler as... What happens in the end, because, like, I'm intrigued to know what, what we're going to see next. If we're even going to get a sequel to this, because the ending left me shocked. But you know what? I should probably just stop right there on not going full detail what the plot is. Because I would recommend definitely checking this movie out, but just going blind. Don't even watch the trash. Just going blind, not knowing anything about this movie, other than that, uh, this movie is freaking awesome. Just don't even check out the trailers. Just book a ticket to go see this movie in IMAX. You will not regret it. Sure, the movie has English subtitles. You're, you're going to have to be looking down the screen. I mean, I was able to pull that off. I can understand how that would be frustrating for some folks. But, like, I guess I'm a, I'm a little bit of a fast reader as I just just read it super fast and then just keep looking. But, no, but no, seriously, though, I would recommend checking this movie out on IMAX. In IMAX, because I, I can't believe I actually saw this movie twice. In IMAX. God dang. So yeah, I definitely would recommend checking this movie out in IMAX. But yeah, just go in blind. Just don't even watch the trailers. You will not regret it. You're going to be surprised as I was because this movie is just fantastic. Like, it's been a few days since I saw this in IMAX and just, like, no. This movie is definitely one of the best films I've seen this year. It, I, I've enjoyed the music score for this film. Uh, I will say this. The, I thought the VFX was a bit of hit or miss, but once I saw it the second time... It's mainly the beginning of the movie where it's a miss for me. The like the rest of the movie is mainly a hit, but like actually, I should probably mention this. Uh, this the, everyone's making a big deal of this that I am not understanding fully, and that is the film's budget for this movie, which is about fifteen million dollars. I don't know why everyone's making a big deal about that, but I shall say that it, it, it was definitely well spent for this movie. And back to what I said about Godzilla. So yeah, he was absolutely terrifying this movie, and. Around the second act, I guess, because, like, the, I saw someone tweet about this, and they definitely had a good point about this. Uh, first act was basically uh, Jurassic Park. Second act is Jaws. Then third is Top Gun Maverick. That's pretty much how the movie goes. Like, just the first act is like Jurassic Park. Second act is like Jaws, which, yeah, I can see how the second act is like Jaws, because once Godzilla reappears, it, like, he... I mean, I know it's VFX, but, oh my god, he actually looks super real! 
like they were actually filming this and they <laughs> they caught a live Godzilla that was chasing them in the middle of the sea. As for the third act, no, yeah, it's, it's, it's a little bit like Top Gun Maverick. But no, uh, besides Godzilla being absolutely terrifying in this movie, he was straight up badass. Now, I'm a bit... I'm a bit 50-50 with the design, as I, I just prefer the Monsterverse design, but no. I do, I do like this design. It's not bad. I'm just, I don't know. I guess I just can't make up my mind about it, but no. This Godzilla is bad. He's like, he's not only badass, he is straight up terrifying. And possibly one of the most brutalist Godzillas I've seen on screen. I mean, I, I, I've only seen two different kinds. Well, a few different kinds. I, I don't know. Just, basically, he's straight up brutal, because... There is a scene, of course, he is causing mayhem in a city, but like, ho, 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 ho. no, he's basically a straight up villain in this movie, which, yeah, that was the only thing I'm aware about, but like, he was mainly a bad guy in the old films, but like, like, I, I don't even know if I can say he was a villain. He's, he's just, he's just a monster just causing mayhem throughout, I guess, Japan and possibly the United States. I, I don't know. He's just a straight up beast in this movie, like, like, Wow, I can't believe I am at, like, I'm mostly just terrified of this version of Godzilla. I mean, I like the monstrous one, but having to see this, having to see the Godzilla in minus one, no, yeah, I'm terrified of this version of Godzilla. And, uh, if this version actually existed in our world, oh, I'd be shitting my pants right now, because knowing how terrifying this thing is, I would want to just not be on planet Earth and most likely just be living in space. I just do. Oh, oh, one more thing I must mention. His atomic breath. Possibly one of the most powerful atomic breaths I've seen from a Godzilla. Like, imagine his atomic breath as the Death Star. That's how powerful his atomic breath is in this movie. But to sum up my thoughts overall... Definitely one of the best films I've seen. Possibly the most surprising film I saw of 2023. I thought the most surprising movie for me was uh, Dungeons and Dragons. Nope, Godzilla Minus One just took that number one spot. And if I were to give this a rating, oh, it's a 10 out of 10. Like, I expect, I didn't know what I was expecting. I kind of went in here. Just, I mean, the only reason I checked this out besides there was an early screening is because I'm a fan of Godzilla. I expected to somewhat like it. I came out loving it. Well, that being said, those are just my thoughts on Godzilla Minus One. It is still playing in theaters. Definitely check this out. Do not sit this one out. You need to see this on the biggest screen possible, whether it's in IMAX or anything. Just, de just definitely check this out in theaters. So if you have seen Godzilla Minus One, be sure to let me know what thoughts comments down below. What did you thought about it? And as always, I'll see you guys in the next video. Most likely my wish review, as I'm going to be doing that tomorrow. But as always, peace out.